Welcome to video 184 in series 3, and now I'm going to do a small edit to the NPC range attack script to make it look at targets better. Okay, so at the moment I find that sometimes the NPCs don't face in the direction like the NPC that they've detected uh, quickly enough, so I want to just edit this NPC state range attack script. It's a very simple change. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to just add a new method. So just above the look method, I will add a uh, new method here. And I'm going to call that void turn towards target. Now, as for its code, it is simply uh, this code right here. Vector3 new position is equal to new vector3. So this calculates the vector3 that um, the NPC should look at. And then this is the uh, bit of code that makes the NPC look at that position. So I'm actually just going to cut that out, take it up and put it inside of here. And then I'll call this method twice. The first time uh, is inside of the look method. So at the end here for each collider, col and colliders, uh, if the NPC dot pursue target is the collider of interest detected by the overlap sphere, then I'm just returning. Otherwise, this method would return the NPC back to uh, the patrol state. Uh, what I would like to happen then is I want the NPC to just immediately turn towards their target. And this will make it much better for a ranged NPC. They're going to be able to uh, start, um, you know, pointing in the right direction sooner and be able to start opening fire sooner or more accurately anyway. Okay, so with that done, I need to also bring this down. I will copy that. And back where I had removed that code, just here, I'm going to put that inside. So if this is the method, try to attack. And I had cut those two lines of code uh, that were under float distance to target, blah, blah, blah. And that was the code for making the NPC turn towards their target. So I'll just save that. And there's nothing further to be done. That was it. Very, very simple change. And the, uh, well, the effect isn't going to be uh, immediately noticeable. It's something that you would just see over lots and lots and lots of testing. Then you would see that the behavior is a bit better. So now let's just have a quicker look here. Let's have a look at our uh, allies. Well, I suppose I could just run up to them as well. But what happens is they just look immediately at their target as soon as they detect. And it just makes it uh, easier for them to be more effective. Anyway, so that's it for this video. It was just a slight edit. Uh, I should tell you in the next video, there'll be some interesting stuff. From then on, I'm going to expand chapter 9 uh, with some new content allowing you to have dynamic factions. So, uh, yep, so for example, if you shoot at your allies, well, they might not be your an allies anymore. Or if you do certain uh, objectives, then factions could change. And one faction that was your friendly and others, I mean, could become your enemy and others that were your enemies could become your friendlies, that sort of a thing. So it'll be very interesting uh, next set of videos. Anyway, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.